Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Owen Fox. I work as a life coach, health coach and relationship coach. And I love doing what I do. I've written two books already and I have another best book in my life coming up this year in 2018 coming. I really love what I do as I said and I help people who are either in pain or suffering or recovering from trauma as well as people just to find their own spirituality and happiness and joy and wellness, health and balance in life. So thanks for joining me and today I'm going to talk about how to stop being a people's pleaser and how to find balance and regain your original birthright of authentic power and strength and freedom and confidence and to be who you truly are that you innately naturally are born with and idealistically could or should have as you heal enough to regain it. So. Let's take a nice deep breath together and settle into this video. So why are human beings, why are we people's pleasing? And why I've done this myself in the past also. So why are we people's pleasing? And the reason we people's please is because we want we are natural community creatures. We are family and friend and extended family and group or community social creatures so to an extent to fit in or to not be rejected or kicked out of the tribe or the group we don't want to be totally self-centered or fussy where we don't comply or contribute <laughs> so for this reason everybody there's actually a very practical deep reason and purpose to um, want to please or help other people and to contribute um, it, it helps us to be accepted and embraced and to be given back to. And in, in a life where things can be challenging and tough as, as is life, we want support and backup. We want um, support and a group then behind us, so to speak. So that's why it's very important practically. And that's why we have this drive or a wish or practical reason to actually help and to fit in. But the problem is when it becomes imbalanced, and we lose ourselves, and we give too much. We forget and lose um, who we are and what we desire, what we want in life. And we neglect ourselves and we abandon our needs and we, we ignore our feelings. You know, for example, we feel really tired, we need a rest, but instead we decide to be convinced to um, socialize for a few hours with people who we may not even really like too much or we just we're just too we're just not in the mood we need some time alone some space so um there's a way to balance all of this where everyone can be happy it's about picking the timing so they say choose your battles and it's not always what you say but it's also when you say it for example um, when you try and talk to somebody when they're really tired or in a bad mood, that's not a good time to try and solve the problems, typically. So, what I've learned in my life... <laughs> what I've learned in my life is... Um, I've learned from non-violent communication teachings by Dr. Marshall Rosenberg, which is extremely helpful and I'd very much so recommend it. Okay, so for some reason my first part got cut off, so I'm starting part two of um, how to stop being a people's pleaser, um, find balance and reclaim your original birthright of self-sovereignty and self-autonomy, to, to be who you truly are and to accept and love yourself the way you are, and to stand up for your truth in a friendly enough way where people will learn to respect you and love you and appreciate you for your uniqueness. Because if you can learn the wisdom, which I'm about to share, that we are all unique, we are all special, we are all special in the eyes of Source or Life, God, the Universe, Great Spirit, whatever you want to call it. We are all made unique in a very special, beautiful way. And it's our uniqueness that is our greatest gift to share with the world. So it's, there's a quotation I liked on Facebook which said, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. <laughs> I like that. Don't be trying to be a copycat. So when we copycat 
then we, we, we rob others of our special gift of sharing who we truly are. So this is a huge like robbery on of towards life and other people when we stop being ourselves. So the greatest gift that we can ever give and the greatest joy that we can ever experience is the fully 100% love and accept and embrace and cherish and celebrate and feel deep down in our bones who we truly are and who we always truly are changing into from the bottom of our hearts because we aren't just like a block, a slab of cement. We are like a river that's always flowing forward into the next moment of life, changing and changing all the time into the next version of ourself. And if we choose to, and if we set the intention, we can choose to be the next greatest version of ourselves, which is what I do in life. And I love to do, I'm driven and passionate to be my most authentic, true, honest and sincere person and self that I, am, that I am and can be and want to be. It's really lovely. <laughs> to be honest, it's definitely a beautiful thing. And I love it. And I most resonate with other people who are busy being themselves. And then we all get to share a unique flavor. Like a soup. We all add a different ingredient to the soup, the pot of life. It's gorgeous. Imagine everyone's bringing, copying each other. It's like keep adding cel like celery soup, like carrot soup. There's one ingredient. And that's okay. Like It's okay to eat like just one ingredient in life, for sure, food-wise. But I'm talking metaphorically speaking. You want flavors. Look at life, everyone. Look at the diversity. It's me on the road. There's like loads of things around me. That's diversity. So if everyone's copying each other, it's like one thing. There's no contrast. There's no entertainment. There's no fun. There's no like fun value when we're all copying. Yeah, thanks everyone. It's a good analogy. Cassandra says, good analogy. Oh, Alexia says, I like what you said. It's not what you say, but the way you say it. Yeah, thanks everyone. Heart from Umayr. Thank you. So, so yeah, that's the greatest gift you can do. And when you realize that, you can then start to become more yourself and embrace yourself and love and accept yourself. <laughs> there we go, some flags there, everyone. <laughs> So whatever happened, I got disconnected in my first two live videos. It's never happened to me before. But I accept that's the way it is today. And I'm moving on with a third live video just to continue on, okay? So, in the, what, okay, now I'm gonna go through what happens when we stop people's pleasing. What happens when we stop people's pleasing and neglecting ourselves and abandoning and betraying ourselves, which is not a good thing to do. Other people who are always taking and getting from us what they want to, to and we we don't get what we want They get what they want. It's a very unfair imbalance relationship scenario When we pull back and start to say no, then they're gonna get upset usually because they're basically like lost in their way of thinking and receiving excessively from you without giving excessively to you backwards like they're gonna rebel and be displeased that you are actually um they're not getting like loads from you anymore or as much so they're going to either be grumpy or unfriendly to you or give out to you or criticize you sometimes not always but sometimes this can be the case and they can also um <laughs> they can be passive aggressive like ignoring your phone calls ignoring your emails stop asking you out stop being kind to you and in a way they're trying to hurt you or make you feel bad so it's, a, it's an attempt to control and manipulate you so you can basically start start being their little guinea pig again who meets their every whim. So it's like it's like it's it's selfish and unfair. Like it's like being a bit of a baby, but if you know what I mean, like immature. But like I, I say that with love in my heart and compassion. And I've been everything that I'm sharing in this video. I've been all these things. I, I've been like the manipulator, the passive aggressive person. I've been everything at different times in my life. So love and respect to everyone. We're all on our journeys and paths. Nobody's better. We're only just learning. So I just want to keep that straight and legit so you don't feel like a big victim or you don't feel like we're playing a snobbery, like I'm better than you card. We're not trying to do any of that sort of stuff. So instead of blaming other people about what's happening, we need to take responsibility and say, I claimed this, I created this, I co-created it, I let it happen, I didn't know better, and that's fine. We all learn from our mistakes. Moving on, what can I do to improve the situation and start, start taking responsibility and personal accountability? So then we can start shifting our life and stop telling ourselves the story of how we've been the victim and victimized and mistreated. You have to stop that victim story and you have to rewrite the story in your mind. Talk to yourself differently, reframe the, what happened and what's happening in your life right now differently. 
So you can start being way more empowered and make decisions and words and thoughts from a much more conscious and productive and positive and uh, positively creative space. Okay, Austin, Ross Pear. I, Owen, keep up the great work. Love your videos. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. I appreciate that very much. Lots of love to you back. Thank you. I'm glad it's helping. Um, so, just going to go back here. A little bit of noise up there. I'll walk backwards so you can see me properly. <laughs> So, um, no, nah, this is a very serious topic, but I do like to bring in a sense of lightness and playfulness to my videos to a degree, just to lighten the load. Because everyone, I have to tell you, if you try and solve your problems from a very heavy center, it's going to be really harder and less enjoyable. Um, more stressful, I dare to say. So it's much easier to like be more light and higher vibrational and appreciative from where you take ch make changes in your life. So that's why I do like to embody a sense of playfulness and lightness also in my videos, even though it's a very serious topic. And when we do that, we're going to have a much more playful, fun time, and we're going to create our new life way easier and much more fun and positive harmony and everything else. It's going to be way easier. Like, who wants to be miserable making positive changes in your life? Not me. I want to have fun and be happier. and I want to have more peace and smile more when I'm making changes in my life. Of course. It's about the journey, not the destination. So if you ruin your journey through being too serious, then you finally get to the idea of your destination. And like the whole journey is being ruined by your own seriousness. That's not what I'm about at all. I was thinking of changing my channel name to from Own Fox Grounded Spirituality and Healthy Living on YouTube to Own Fox New Age Sage Clown. <laughs> I love that idea. It's so good. <laughs> So welcome back everyone who disappears. Sorry for, I don't know what happened to the live Facebook videos this morning. Something's happening on Facebook. So everyone, feel welcome to share these videos of course. If you feel anyone on your wall might be interested, of course. And to subscribe to my YouTube, uh, befriend me on Facebook. And for one-to-one -one personal coaching on body, mind, spirit, health, relationships, or life, and overcoming healing, like stress, trauma, pain, suffering, and just finding way higher vibration and happiness, attracting your soulmate, being ready for your soulmate and high vibrational lo living, loving and life, just contact me because that's what I do in my personal work also. But um, before I end the video, I'm just want, trying to figure out, um, Alexia says, great message, great message. Who wants to be miserable making positive changes in life? Lol, great. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> you want to be as happy as you can now, everyone, because now is the only experience you ever have in life. So even if you're like not making too many changes, but you're really happy along the way, you're, li you're going to be one of the happiest people on the planet. But obviously what you want to do idealistically is to make positive changes and deal with your challenges in life that come from spirit or your higher self in order for your growth and divine purpose and experience. Nothing happens by chance. Nothing happens for no reason. Everything's happening for a reason. Everything's happening for a purpose. We can be grateful and, and like sit into this role in, in gratitude for all of the stuff that's happening to us. We can focus on the, the positives instead of the negatives and make positive change while focusing on the positives in gratitude, love and cherishment for the gift of life. Appreciating being alive, ha our hands, arms, legs, eyes, nostrils, our, our, our feet, our arms, our voice, our lungs, the air, nature, our families, our friends, brother, sister, anyone who's alive still, brother, sister, mom, dad, children, um, food, money, abundance, friendships, the love, the laughter, the humor, the jokes. Do what you like to do, everyone. Be happy as possible. That's going to help you create boundaries and um, stop being a people's pleaser also. Like, but being happy, the more you raise your frequency, the more wisdom and clarity you will, you will be able to receive, the more synchronicities will happen in your life, and the more divine perfect timing, the more divine support that'll come to you, like somebody will send you a picture on Facebook, somebody will send you a message, you'll meet a new friend, all these things will come to support you when you have the intention for greater growth uh, and expansion and healing. So once you're sincere in yourself and you put in the effort, you ever hear the, the saying? You do your half and God will do the other half. So you gotta do your intention and part and the universe will totally hook you up with synchronicities and support in the form of media and people and events and gifts and all sorts of stuff, including losses, by the way. Sometimes we have losses which support our greater growth and our good in life to move us forward. It's not all about like fairy tale, like laughter, hugs, and rose petals falling on our head. 
<laughs> sometimes we have got to leave a relationship or somebody will leave us or we'll lose something like our job or our money or our investments all of these things happened to me I lost my loads of my money like all my money and investments like 140,000 US dollars and and I lost a relationship okay so we're live again Owen Fox coming back at you with live video part 4 of how to stop being a people's pleaser find balance and find your true self and live the life you truly want Woo! Thanks, God. Source. Ah, let's take a deep breath. Ah, be happy. Get out in nature. Okay, so in this little last part, I want to say it's very important to have friends and loved ones or community who support you in your wish to be your true self. So they say you are a mixture of your five or seven best friends or whatever. So basically speaking, your closest best friends, they'll be similar to you. You won't be the exact same, but you'll share similarities. And we're all, you're all a mixture of each other, like you all have different similar vibrations and characteristics, even though you have lots of different ones also. And I can say this is true in my own life. Like my soul family, my closest soul family at the moment, I'm, I'm a mixture of all of them put together, you know, and my own self also mixed in too. So, in my life, my life shifted positively for the better by a huge amount. When I started like having more friends who were like vibrating on the same or similar level to me, like basically the same, you know, same, similar, same thing. So when you have friends who can understand you, affirm you, confirm what you're thinking, support you, uh, affirm your doubts and say, hey, yeah, you're right. Like this is the way it is. Like they're like this is the way it is with the challenge. Like they're being unfair. Like you're being really nice. Or, or they might call you any bullshit and say, oh, <laughs> like you're being a little bit like they're right. Maybe you're a little bit off. People who can be like that, authentic and showing up. If you're going to show up for life, if you have friends who show up also, give their best, do your best, be heart-centered. When you can make these friends who want to learn and grow, you're going to have massive support in being who you truly are. And they're going to stick up for you and stand up for you. And they're going to support you in being your true self. Instead of like people who disempower you or criticize you or put you down and try and like, they, 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 they back up and affirm your victimhood stories that's all a joke that keeps us all in the old vibrational miserable depressed sad lonely clingy codependent patterns of selfishness and immaturity okay so bang flip to the other side when you have friends who are much more high vibrational and you have that intention and wish and daily practice to do your best show up for your friends family loved ones children etc and show up for yourself especially that's where it all comes from then you're gonna, when you have friends doing the same to help you and you help them, you all learn, love and laugh together, everyone. That's the truth of it. You all learn together, you all laugh together and you all love together and express high vibrational unconditional love and support and friendship together. So when you do that, everyone, you're going to be sorted. Uh, there's nothing. Then you have massive backup and then you can keep being your, your true self and they'll, they'll help you to stop being a people's pleaser or any type of addictive behaviour or unhealthy behaviour and you'll all help each other find balance. So I highly recommend learning how to make friends and it's, it's, I'll tell you right now how to do it. You say, I like you, I like your energy. Do you want to meet up, go for a walk, tea or coffee or some kind of event again? Can I have your number or vice versa or your card? And that's how you do it. Simple as that. I've done it this year and I made loads of friends, loads of soul family. We've all, we're all hooked up, synced up. We've all got together and created a lovely life like I'm describing. So that's how you do. That's another tremendously powerful tip for life. And, of course, this topic of how to stop being a people's pleaser and to gain the wisdom and clarity needed so you can know you're doing the right thing and you're not being hurtful. You have to change your beliefs about, oh, I'm being hurtful or unfair. You can't be... People have to like learn how to be said no to. Like if I say to somebody, for example, Mum, do you want to go to the Happy Pair, my favourite place to eat today? And she says no. I'm like, oh Mum, well, you said you would. Or, oh, but Mum, uh, come on, stop being so selfish, Mum. Like that's just like, that's just silly. She has every right in the world. She's a, she, we all have a natural right to do what we want and to not be forced into doing stuff we don't want to do. So, enough of those emotional games and then when you allow yourself to be free and not to be played emotional games with that's when you become freer too so the truth shall set you free so I'm smacking you over the, over the head with a whole lot of truth in this video bang 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 bop 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 <laughs> and the truth shall set you free for real it's like one of my favourite quotations in the world so yeah once you align with the truth and clarity then you're able to make confident decisions for yourself knowing you're not being mean to anyone and and wishing everyone like gentle love in their journey if they happen to be triggered because you said no 
at least you could say, hey, listen, I need to do this, but listen, I would like to spend time with you another time. I care for you, I value you, but at the same time, I got to do what I need to do, and I, I'll support you and you doing what you need to do, you know? I'm not trying to take from you, and I expect not to be taken from by anyone also, but I love you, and thanks for understanding, and then you can say, does this make sense? You know, you can, you can, you can work together in setting up loving boundaries, not like violent, like aggressive boundaries, but loving boundaries. <laughs> Like treat people almost like wounded children almost to a degree. That type of thing. Well, okay. <laughs> it takes practice. Someone says it's harder being than you think to be Yeah, of course, it takes practice. It takes practice and time. So if you learn everything I'm saying in this video and some more things on top of this that I haven't even gotten to in this video, you'll make massive inroads, okay? Especially with the friendship thing and the empowered friends thing and the truth. So rewire your programming and belief systems and you will definitely find the clarity and strength and power and support to totally become self-autonomous and be the highest vibration, joyful self of your entire life. And I promise you that. It's not as hard as you think. That's all I want to say. It is hard, but we keep thinking it's really hard. We'll make, we'll believe it's so hard. Just because it's hard in the past doesn't mean it has to be hard in the future. So that's what I'm trying to say in response to that comment that is like way harder than you think it is. It can be hard. Anything can be as hard as we want it to be. But when we change our attitude, perception, and beliefs around things, then things become way easier and more fun. So that's what I want to say about the fun part. Yeah, thanks, Jerry. You do keep listening to this a few times and check out my part one, two, and three because I got cut off. So one, two, and three, this is part four because I lost connections um, for the first time ever in my live videos. Uh, I love you to like just check it out and like you know we're all learning and we're all doing our best and love and appreciation to everyone who supported and helped me in my path. It's been a really hard road for me, but I've, I've, I appreciate it. And it's been challenging at other times more harder than it is now because I've come where I am. And now life has become much more magical for me, much more synchronistic, more uplifting and uplifted. And um, we all have a path to walk to get to where we want to be. And let's just take one step at a time in gratitude, love and appreciation as much as possible and light-hearted vibrations of humor, fun, jokes and tickles and playfulness and like jokiness and you know just that type of thing and nature and animals and children they'll all help get us back in our supreme vortex you know where we feel the lightness and the peace okay cool so I'm gonna so Annette says losing a recent friend because of differences can be a blessing yeah Annette says 6am good morning from Australia good morning uh, Annette <laughs> okay everyone lots of love to you thanks for watching and thanks for understanding me and like sorry if I came across a bit like you know I wasn't heavy or serious but uh, just I just wanted to be assertive to the idea of like how, how we can make things harder or easier on ourselves at the end of there so thanks for understanding that Jerry lots of love to y'all I'll see you again in another video and uh, thanks for all your love and support and I'll see you, yeah I'll see you again have a beautiful day everyone and don't forget for any one to one consultations on body mind spirit physical mental emotional healing pain and trauma and loss as well as just like um, heart um, relationships and um, life coaching and um, health coaching I do all of that as my passionate purpose and calling on earth so take advantage as desired and other than that have a lovely day see ya take care everyone bye